offering some of the best mobility, burst damage, and elemental damage in the game. The Dual Blades are a very versatile, high damage, fast paced weapon, allowing for and demanding high uptime. I'm Light It Up Dan, and on the channel we cover action RPGs, roguelikes, and MMOs, including loads of Monster Hunter World. I focus on producing content that helps to reduce the overwhelm of the game. If you haven't caught any of the event roundup videos, I highly recommend it, there's something there for everyone. A massive thank you for bringing us to 80 8% of unsubscribed viewers on the channel, as the majority of you folks are returning viewers. If you enjoy the videos, do subscribe, and with that said, let's get to it. Giving the unimpeded mobility, quick hitting combos that are easy to understand, and high burst damage, the dual blades are a fantastic choice for newcomers to the game and to the weapon. It's accessibility to pick up and play, have a good time, and actually be quite effective for you and your team is pretty damn high. You have a simple high damage chain of combos with your Y attack, seeing you let off lots of hits in quick succession. Even if all you do is this, you're still gonna have a good time and probably end up being quite effective, so have fun with it. The other combo string with the B attacks tend to focus more on a bit of mobility and getting you to a different position. Similarly, fast hitting, high burst damage, a great option. If you hit right trigger, you will enter demon mode, which is essentially the true form of dual blades. You're going to find that you're in this mode a lot. Whilst in demon mode, your stamina will continuously decrease, making way for your impending dash juice addiction, you filthy junkie. In demon mode, all of your attacks are transformed to be more powerful, quicker hitting, and increase the number of total hits. Your regular Y combo becomes a deadly attack which has incredible burst. Your B combo allows for even better repositioning and can be chained into a unique clutch claw attack, which does an instant tenderize, even though the dual blades normally requires two clutch claw attacks to tenderize apart. It's also a very high damage attack, so this is a fantastic opener to initiate your combo against the monster. You also get access to an additional attack, the Demon Flurry. This plants your feet and unleashes a long winding combo which you can't interrupt so do be sure that you want to do it, dishing out a ton of hits and a load of damage. This is going to be one of your bread and butter attacks whenever you've got some kind of opening where you know you can just wail away on a monster, such as during a flinch, stun, topple, etc. You'll notice that there's a gauge filling up with each and every attack that you land whilst you're in demon mode, located just beneath your sharpness. When when this is filled up, you will enter Arch Demon mode, which overall increases your damage output and transforms some of your attacks into sort of demon mode style attacks when you're in normal mode. Useful for keeping up your damage as high as possible, in between your stamina depleting whilst you're in demon mode to it replenishing when you're out of it. Essentially, you want to be in Arch Demon mode as much as possible, if not all the time. Also, don't forget, very importantly, whilst you're in demon mode, you've got a goddamn Naruto run. That's sick, that is. That to buy You can do do this really cool spinning Beyblade attack down the full length of a monster, provided you connect properly off your jumping ledge attack or your sliding attack. As you deal severing damage, you're going to be able to get tail cuts with this weapon, always very useful for you and your squad. With a very fast high number of hits, I mentioned earlier this is a fantastic choice for elemental weapons. When we're talking about your fight against Safi Jiva with a dragon weapon, or Alatreon with an ice or fire weapon, or any monster that has an elemental weakness that you want to exploit, the dual blade really bring the pain and pack a punch. Some of them to go for for a mixture of aesthetics and for utility. First and foremost, you need the ruinous decimation. I mean, look at these things. Those goddamn ruiner Nergagante claws are sick. The Frostfang Barrieth Ice Dual Blades, the Burgle Vetra, I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. The Rathalos Tree Dual Blades, Wyvern Strife, good raw, high affinity, and has poison and fire on it. Absolutely wild. There's the Workshop Weapon Tree giving you the Holy Guild Knight Dual Blades with Water Elemental on, very cool. The upgraded Anjanath Twin Rippers are a fantastic fire choice, however you do have that blue sharpness and the minus 20 affinities, that's a bit of a bummer, but they are much easier to craft compared to the Smoldering Kingdoms, the Glavenous Tree. There's pros and cons for both, but they're both excellent fire choices. You've got the Blizzard and Blaze Ice and Blast Dual Blades from the Black Steel Tree, another pretty funky choice. You've also got your absolute top tier ones, I'm talking Furious Rajang, Alatreon Upgrade, ones, Raging Bracadios for that insane raw damage, and depending where you're coming in from, the Stygian Zenoga one could be a good option, the Guild Palace could be a great option too. Have a little look at what's on offer, you might find some really cool things that you want to explore. When it comes to skills, there are plenty of options when it comes to dual blades that'll be absolutely fantastic. These will differ depending on your playstyle and what you're looking for. All the usuals aside, like Attack Up, Critical Eye, Agitator, etc, they're all great. Skills that affect your stamina consumption 
option are going to come in handy like Marathon Runner or Constitution. Of course, stacking elemental damage is going to be really useful depending on which elemental weapon you're using at the time. Dragon for Alatreon weapons, etc. Critical element on the Velkana gear and true critical element on the Silver Rathalos armor slash Azure Age Alpha Plus armor can boost your weapons to do a tremendous amount of damage. You'll also find that dual blades absolutely choose through sharpness. So anything that preserves this, such as protective polish, can be super beneficial to your build. I don't know about you folks, but the more I play this game and the more I dive into certain weapons, because I've played all of them to some degree, the more I'm finding that I've got particular tools for a particular job. One of the fights that I absolutely love taking dual blades to is Safi Jeeva, rocking the Alatreon dragon daggers to deal that super high dragon elemental damage, being able to weave in and out of situations while still keeping the uptime of damage pretty high, utilizing the special instant wound and clutch claw attack that you can do to keep up the wounding that keeps getting refreshed constantly by Safi, and of course using your mobility, your maneuverability afforded to you by this weapon to get yourself out of dangerous situations very quickly. Properly landing a heavenly blade dance, the jumping ledge attack on Safi is one of the most satisfying cool things ever. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Another super tough fight where they really shine is against Alatreon. Here dealing elemental damage is absolutely pivotal for your success in the fight, otherwise you'll fail the DPS check and get one shot. With your ice or fire dual blades, depending on which one you're fighting, you'll be able to maneuver in and out of very dangerous attacks which it fires out in quick succession, dishing out elemental damage as fast as you can to the monster, getting your wounds off really quickly and being able to navigate over to the head when it's been knocked over, as focusing your damage out on the head and the horns is absolutely pivotal during this fight as well. You want to get those horn breaks ASAP. It can be scary taking these weapons to Alatreon, but let's face it, it can be scary taking any weapons to this guy. It's absolutely insane. No matter how many times I do it, it's still absolutely terrifying. Do you have any additional tips for dual blades I've not mentioned here? Let us know in the comments below so we can all learn from each other. As mentioned at the start, a massive thank you for bringing us to 88% of unsubscribed viewers. With the majority of you returning to the channel, if you do enjoy the videos, do subscribe and jump into the Discord, which is open to you all to get some hunts with me and the squad. But until next time, I'll see you in the new world.